Hi, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you the methods of building a list from your YouTube channel. When you've had an active YouTube channel for a decent period of time and have garnered a massive number of engaged viewers, it's time to monetize your viewers. You may be wondering how other YouTubers can earn money from their subscribers, and here's the answer. Without further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, you will need to grow your subscribers list. The more subscribers you have, the better you can monetize them. However, when you are building up your list, focus on building engaged subscribers. Active and engaged viewers are more likely to become loyal customers. To attract and engage viewers, you will need to create content that your subscribers find valuable. If the content of your videos fails to provide any real value to your viewers, don't be surprised if you don't get any subscribers. Each video needs to deliver value, your best kept secrets, and your most effective solutions for the problems faced by your target audience. Last but not least, do not be afraid to ask people to subscribe to your channel at the end of your video. I believe that you had seen this before as well, a call to action in the form of an annotation asking viewers to hit subscribe. This is a surprisingly easy way to convert interested viewers into subscribers. Annotations are the most effective way of building up a list from your YouTube channel. It enables you to layer text, links, and hotspots over your video. When you use annotations, viewers can actually click on it and be redirected to the URL that you've set. With this function, you can add information, interact with your subscribers, and increase the engagement of your viewers. In fact, you've made their subscription easier by using annotation. They need not to scroll down and look for the link, just one hotspot on the video, and they can click on it and subscribe to your newsletter. To add annotations on your video, you will first need to go to the Video Manager. Click on the down arrow and select Annotations. This is the place where you can manage all the annotations for your videos. Moving on, when you are on the annotation page, you will see a page with all your videos. Beside each video, there is an Add Annotation button. Select the video that you wish to add an annotation to and click on the button beside the video. You'll then be redirected to the page where you can edit and create your annotation. You can decide when and where you want the annotation to be in your video, and of course, the duration of the annotation. Make the necessary changes and apply the changes. And that's it. The next method that allows you to build your list from your YouTube channel is by editing the annotation to your YouTube in-stream ads. You can tweak some links here to direct your viewers to your home page or squeeze page. For the display URL, type in your home page or associated website. This will create a link in your in-stream ad which the viewers can click on. In the final or destination URL, insert the URL of your associated website or squeeze page. So, when viewers click on the link, they will be directed to your associated website or squeeze page instead. To set up the annotation on your in-stream ads, go to the settings for your in-stream section, and then type in the relevant URLs, and then just scroll to the bottom of the page and hit the Save button. If you do not have any ad campaigns running at this moment, and you do not wish to start one, you can consider utilizing the Call to Action Overlay function when you are editing your video. With the Call to Action Overlay, you are able to add a Call to Action box in your video. The only difference of this function and annotation is you can't control the timing of the Call to Action box. By default, it appears right in the beginning of the video. And this is unlike annotations where you can set the time and design. One similar thing is, they both allow you to link the viewers to your associated website. Other than using the annotation, you can utilize the description box of your videos as well. Put in the link of your associated website. Chances are still there where some of the viewers will read the description and hit on your link. You wouldn't want to miss any opportunity to collect leads. One small tip over here, keep your description as short as possible so that the viewers can see the link without expanding the section. 
people are less likely to expand the description box. So take heed of the length of your description when you are setting this up. As mentioned just now, do not be afraid to utilize the end of your video for a call to action. The call to action does not need to be long. Just a half a minute or a minute will be good enough. If people love your content and they stay until the end of the video, they are more likely to respond to your call to action. Just add an annotation at the end of the video to link them to your website. Here are some tips for you. First, and this is the most important one, don't forget every opportunity to get subscribers because opportunities will not wait for you. Grab them before it's too late. You can actually get more viewers when you run your own ad campaign. Great things don't come for free. You will need to pay for the ad. However, it's definitely worth investing in. Instead of waiting for the organic traffic, paid traffic is much faster and more effective and pays off in the end. Last but not least, create an autoresponder account to manage your subscribers, such as AWeber. This is the best system where you can schedule your newsletters ahead of time and continue with the other important tasks. In this video, we'll take a look at how you're going to find a niche and how to determine whether it's profitable or not. It's a little detour from the main topic, but this chapter wouldn't be here if it wasn't important. You will need to have content for your videos before anything else, and crafting good content depends a lot on the niche you're in. Your niche will determine almost every aspect of your marketing campaign that includes your videos. So let's jump in, shall we? Many marketers, especially newbies, mistreat video content as being identical to blog posts, which is not true. This is a common mistake made by most companies, which is why they fail in video marketing. The video content often has no compelling story and uses overly complex call to actions. And these decrease the impact of your video on your audience. You need to understand video as its own media, not just another version of a blog post which conveys its message through text. Video utilizes text, visual and graphics, and sound to explain your message. Fully utilize videos to market your products or services, and you will see how amazing it is compared to just text. The content must be meaningful even if it were in text and image form. Usually to create a video, you must first create a storyboard with just images and text. After you have the storyboard ready, read through it and start imagining the visuals and audio that would fit in. If you can easily imagine your message by just the images and text, you can then proceed with the video. The second criteria for the content, obviously, it must be engaging. When you are drafting your storyboard, imagine yourself as one of the viewers that's going to watch this video. Will you watch the video until the end? This is very essential. They will miss the call to action if your viewers aren't going to finish the whole video. In other words, this will not be a video that sells. There are three big niches in the internet business, which are health and fitness, wealth, and relationship. These three niches are wide and generic, with more specific sub-niches within them. When it comes to defining your niche, you need to be as specific as possible. You can identify sub-niches by doing some research on Google or internet marketplaces such as JVZoo. Type in your keyword and see what comes up in the search results. Also, look closely at the Searches Related To section at the bottom of the search results page. The type of video content depending on what kind of message you would like to reach out to your viewers. Here's a list of types of video content for your reference. The first and the most common type of video content is the promotional video. This type of video may be in the form of a review of products or services. Moving on. The next type of video content can be creative or funny content. This type of video is suitable to market a product or services as well. Do not be afraid to get creative. People are more likely to have a better impression towards creative videos. In addition, the content that's relevant to their interests, which leads us back to the second criteria to create your content. Apart from these, you can conduct interviews with some prominent people in the niche. You can pre-record it and upload, or you can conduct a live interview too. 
If you are in the personal development niche, you can interview the gurus for some tips in doing meditation, for example. As for the how-to videos, you can record a demonstration on how to use a new product, for instance, to engage with your viewers. Always remember that the videos can be just a video to maintain the engagement with your viewers, not necessarily to sell them something. Last but not least, the video can be about a seminar or webinar. Upload a pre-recorded seminar or webinar. The content can be training related. A seminar and webinar can be long, but viewers wouldn't mind to sit through it if the content is relevant to their interest. In addition, they need not to travel over for the seminar if it was held in another country, so why not watch it through YouTube? Now that you've gotten an idea of which niche and types of content you want to choose, next you have to make sure that the niche is active. To find an active niche, you would need to monitor their online activities. There's an easy way to do this, which is through the most accessible social media platform there is, which is Facebook. On Facebook, you can just do a quick search for the groups in your niche. For example, affiliates program. Then Facebook will show you the search results that are probably by the dozens or, if you're lucky, by the hundreds. If there are still activities in the group, especially online, that means the niche is definitely viable. How do we know whether the niche is profitable or not? One way to find out the profitability of the market that you can do by yourself is by monitoring the products sold to that niche. For instance, the affiliate program niche, which is an information product. You can go ahead and find products that are related to this by a search on marketplaces like Warrior Plus, ClickBank, or JVZoo. These marketplaces have an eclectic collection of products that you can find. They cater to almost all niches you can possibly find. Once you've found these products, you can go on to look for their reviews and ratings. It is best that you look at the products that are top sellers and sell products on that niche. You can usually find them in the main pages of all the marketplaces. This way, you will know what kind of products rank the highest in terms of sales. When it comes to the content creation, you need to be as specific as you can. The market of your choice is huge, competitive, and most likely saturated. Chances are, there are bigger names with better products. So, how are you going to compete with them? It's easier and wiser to have a specialized and focused target rather than being too general. Instead, you can choose one of the many different ways to make money online and focus on a specific niche. Another way of getting the video content is by choosing the niche that you like, that you are passionate about. In school, you've probably been told by your teacher to write what you know. Why do they encourage this? Because when you work on something that you're familiar with or interested in, you'll be motivated to work harder and you are more likely to deliver better quality work. So if you are going to invest money, a lot of time and energy, you might as well do it on something that you enjoy. However, this should come last. The first thing you need to consider is the profitability of the niche. The reason for this being last and all other aspects should be prioritized is that most of the time, what we like doesn't really bring profit. Now that you finally know your niche, it's time for you to dig a little deeper and truly understand your target audience. Just like all other aspects of niche searching, you can't be generic when it comes to target audience. You have to know their gender, age group, and many other specifics. To do this, it usually takes experience and lots of research. The best kind of research is when you rub shoulders with your target audience. Join the Facebook groups, forums, and any other type of discussions. This is how you learn their behavior, their language, and most importantly, their concerns. Expand your knowledge and understanding on your target market. This is a necessary move to do the marketing. Not only that, you can take the opportunity to network and strengthen your presence in the market as well.